in the last few months, the New York Giants made two huge decisions, and they were really tied together. They chose to stay with Eli yep. Manning and not draft a quarterback, and then they chose to give Odell all of the money. Have you received any reason to believe that there is regret inside that building yet on either or both of those decisions? They would not say that right now, and they don't believe that right now because it's too early in that process. Saquon has proven to be a special talent. Over time, we'll see how Eli develops the quarterback they get to succeed him, and then we could have better assess that. But right now, I think they're quite comfortable having taken Saquon Barkley despite the questions, despite the criticisms, despite what other people may think. Again, I don't think you ever bypass a quarterback, particularly with the salary structure being what it is. When you take a running back that high, he automatically becomes one of the highest paid running backs in the game. When you take a quarterback that high, he is a bargain and a steal and allows you to spend money elsewhere. But this is the decision the Giants made. And based on what they've seen from Saquon Barkley so far, they don't regret drafting. Right, there are no arguments about Barkley. The question is about the decision to sort of keep this iteration of the Giants moving forward. So I've been waiting all week long, Marcus, to get you in that chair and ask you about your guy from LSU, Odell Beckham. First, can I say something about Eli? Sure. Eli over the hill. Let's, let's call it what it is, Chef. The Eli is over the hill, and the Giants probably should have drafted a quarterback. Just a succession plan, because you don't know the landscape of quarterbacks after, you fi after, after the whole world is in agreement when the Giants finally get there that Eli is over the hill and not the same quarterback and not the guy that's probably going to take you where you need to go. With that being said, this Odell Beckham, did we expect him to become a different person when he got a paycheck? Did we expect him to walk in the locker room and be a kumbaya stick? Yeah, that's a new word, G. <laughs> kumbaya stick type guy and harmony and getting everybody on board. Odell has always made a statement with how he plays. That's his leadership role. When we talk about players being leaders, man, it gets so overblown. Some dudes are not that. That's not Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham on Sunday for three hours – is usually the best player on the football field from his at his position. Guys follow that. But if we talking about Odell getting a paycheck and then supposed to become a leader and do all of the public speaking for the New York Giants and be the guy that brings everybody in the locker room together, $90 million wasn't going to make him that. It was just going to make him more of what we already knew Odell Beckham to be. Sideline rants, beating up the kicking post. Screaming out loud at the players, trying to figure out, trying to get at Eli and let him know that I'm open. This is who he is. Is he worth all the trouble? Yes. Yes, he's worth all the trouble because he's a dynamic player. Gee, you don't get paid on your, on your likeness when it comes to contracts. You don't get paid on your likeness. A lot of people like to believe that. You get paid on production. Hey, you, 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 you brought up those two decisions. Yeah. There's another big decision that they made. For a while, they entertained the notion of trading him. And there were people around the league who thought they were going to trade him in April. And they decided to stay the course, ride it out with him, and then eventually pay him. And again, if we talk about key, critical, giant decisions, how about this one if we're going to go back in time? This week, they released Eric Flowers, their former first-round pick, who's in Jacksonville today. In the year they drafted him, Eric Flowers was the ninth overall pick. Do you know who was 10th? Todd Gurley. Mm. Imagine if the Giants had taken Todd Gurley back then. Yep. It would have shifted the conversation. Then it becomes easy to take a quarterback last spring, and the direction of the franchise is completely changed. So single decisions affect futures of football franchises. 